Qiyamah, on the Day of Judgment, accounting that will take place, the Hisab that will take place, when the reckoning will take place, when we will be presented to Allah, then the most difficult question of all, the question that will make people get trapped, stuck, and this question will be presented to everyone, poor, be he rich, wealthy, be he of any background or type, whatever type of human being it is. The question that will be presented which will give the most distress to all of mankind. Let's pray to Allah that Allah Ta'ala gives us understanding, awareness of that day of resurrection, that when we will be presented to Allah and when we will be asked the questions, let's pray that we can prepare through the actions of this life. This is a life of negligence and ignorance and ignorance and negligence. The veils, they cloud the eyes very quickly. This life will pass very quickly. But the mu'amulat, the living of this life, we continue to get diverted from the realities. And if the human being, if he develops this um, constant concern and fikr that whatever Allah Ta'ala is going to ask from me, I should continue to prepare for that so that when I give my humble and broken simple answers, then Allah's mercy will save me, protect me. Allah Ta'ala's karam, Allah's mercy is such that however hard the questions will be for us, Allah Ta'ala, we didn't even know the biggest, the most difficult question, the most severe question on the day of judgment will be that Allah's ni'mas that Allah Ta'ala has given to us, Allah will ask about those to us. Allah will question us about the ni'mas that He has given to us. The favors, the treasures, the resources. Now tell me, uh, the amount of ni'mas that Allah Ta'ala has given to us. Ni'mas, gifts, treasures, favors, unlimited, untold, we cannot count, we cannot think, we cannot imagine. And those ni'mas, we don't consider them as ni'mas. We say, oh, I've not got anything from Allah. Allah has not given me anything. Eh? Even the poor person says, I've got nothing. But what about the rich man? Even the poor man, everyone has ni'mas aside from wealth. Somebody, even if he's distressed, if he's sick, if he's healthy, if he's poor, if he's wealthy, every single person has been assigned ni'mas. And if every human being in the world was to sit and count the ni'mas he's been given Allah, he would lose count. If you're grateful, I will increase the name of Hazrat Ibn Abbas radiallahu anhu. He narrated a hadith that the gracious Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa his uh, statement, his blessed statement, I'm presenting to you, sharing with you, inshallah. And may Allah give us tawfiq that we do amal on this statement. Will we do this, brothers? Inshallah. Inshallah. I said earlier that, that we will be in a severe circumstance on the day of judgment and the Prophet ﷺ has given us a beautiful way out of that trap even then we don't implement that solution yes that on the day of judgment when Allah will ask us about have we been grateful for his namas then we will come out of the group of the ungrateful people Allah will not ask us severely we'll come out of the tough circumstances we'll have yaqeen in Allah because when a person creates a connection with Allah then Allah Ta'ala compensates him ongoing Ongoing. What does Allah's Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said? Subhanallah. That if a person, a human being, now we need to be attentive at the moment. We need to focus on what we're hearing. If a human being, if before he uses an ni'mah, if he recites Bismillah, and after using that ni'mah, he says Alhamdulillah, then I am your Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. I tell you now that on the day of judgment, Allah will not question you about that ni'mah. You won't have to account for that ni'mah. Subhanallah. What a great karam mercy and solution that Rasulullah Sallallahu has given to us. Look at this solution. So all the ni'mas in our life, if you can't do big amal, you can't break the hajjud, you can't do big actions, you can't do long ibadah, doesn't matter what tough circumstance you're in, but you can do this, can't you? You'll be saved then, won't you, on the day of judgment? That you, if you go over the first hurdle of asking the questions on the day of judgment, a person like me passes the test then, Allah will say, what about this name I gave to you? Give the hisab, written it. The angel say, Allah, he has accounted for all the ni'mas you gave him.